So it's coming up to a week now uh, since Biomutant has been released and we already have word of a patch that is coming which fixed many niggling problems many people have with the game. Today we get into what's been mentioned and talk a little more about this patch. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant be sure to subscribe. So Biomutant has been out what since well about four or five days now. Um, it didn't get uh, the, the start I believe it deserved. I mean, it, I think it's a much, much better game than what people give it credit for, considering it was made by uh, only 20 people. And let's not lie to ourselves. I mean, 20 people or not, I mean, it's no excuse if the game's bad, but I don't actually think the game's bad. I just think people uh, highlighting the bad parts when overall, I think the game's actually amazing, especially, especially for 20 people who made it. But yes, um, there's a patch coming. There's no actual date for this patch, but I've spoke about it. I'd probably say sometime this next week we may see it drop. And this is basically what they mentioned. Now they tweeted out saying the following. We are working on an update for Biomutant, which we hope will get into players' hands soon. Most likely we will be able to deliver the update to PC platforms first and then to consoles. The update will include bug fixes and changes based on community feedback. Now before we go into the second part of the tweet, community feedback in regards to the niggling problems a lot of people are having in terms of motion blur, the narrator, which at first I'm not going to lie, I like the narrator, but it can be a nuisance. I mean, that's one of the problems I have with the game. I know you can turn him down, turn him off, limit him, whatever, but it's still just something about it. There's a few problems that I talked about in my review video too, talking about the sound of combat and things like that. And it's good to see that actually people are taking feedback into mind and actually working to fix the many problems people are having. So the second part of the tweet they state, we are working on a pacing of dialogues, narrator settings, difficulty settings, video settings like depth of field and motion blur, and I know motion blur a lot of people are having problems with this too. Uh, to be honest, I don't understand why this wasn't in the game from day one. And I'm not going to lie, I don't feel it as much as well. Actually, I don't see it at all compared to other games I've played. I mean, in Outriders, motion blur was abysmal. And I know in some games it makes it kind of more realistic, like car games. But in games like this, I don't even think it's needed. But yeah, it's a surprise that it wasn't, uh, there wasn't an option to turn this off from day one. But yet they're working on motion blur too. Loot enemy tuning as well as sound and combat now in terms of enemy tuning i don't know what they're going to do here i do feel the more powerful you get the weaker enemies feel which i know obviously makes sense but you still want to challenge the stronger you get and the stronger you get to me it doesn't feel as though enemies scale up as they should do with the loot i'm not sure what they're going to do i know i would like the instance of enemies respawning that would be a great thing because enemies don't seem to respawn like the bigger bosses you kill or the mini bosses around the map i mean once you kill them and if you go back i don't think they respawn so you will end up within an empty world sooner or later so hopefully they look into that too and like they said they talk about tuning as well as sound and combat well the sound within combat to me especially when you're using because i'm a saboteur and so i'm using my blades i'm using those melee weapons and it does sound as though you're hitting people with a carrier bag filled with feathers there's just nothing to it the guns in my opinion don't sound too bad i mean there are certain melee weapons that do sound different but they still just don't sound punchy enough maybe they could work on a better targeting system too but hey i think i'm getting ahead of myself here but yes guys they are working on an update for bio mutant so i would expect more details on this early next week and i probably think it comes the end of next week or early the week after but we will see guys but if any more news drops surrounding the game obviously i'll have you covered right here on my channel so yes if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out tell me your thoughts on down below in that comment section if you're new around here and want to see more bio music be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one